It was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. And it hurts even now just to think about it. But I quit YouTube. Do you like YouTube? I like YouTube. I'm one of those people that could literally sit down and watch YouTube for hours and hours. And I still feel that way. I love YouTube. It's the best platform to go to if you're looking to be entertained. But at the same time, you can still learn something. You can take away something. Not to mention, it's the best business model I've ever had. There's no other platform where you can literally make content and get paid just from views, let alone anybody who clicks on your links if you're an affiliate or if you're, a, if you're getting sponsorships or any sort of referrals or promotions going on, you can make some good money with YouTube. I've made thousands of dollars myself just from YouTube alone. But the money's not why I jumped into YouTube. I actually jumped into YouTube for the skills. I wanted to learn how to make videos, make them better, because I've always been interested in films and movies. Being that I live in the only state that is double landlocked, we call it Roscoe around here, there was very few projects and little opportunities for me to get into that industry. And a lot of the projects that I was jumping into, I knew I could do way better than whatever the heck they were making. In July of 2018, that's when I uploaded my first video. And it took four months for me to upload my second video. And then eventually that turned into four weeks and then eventually four days. I became a machine bumping out content. Welcome to my channel. My name is Cody McDowell. Cody McDowell. Cody McDowell. It's pronounced McDowell. Cody McDowell. And in March of 2019, that's when I went full psychotic mode. I was uploading daily videos for over 100 days. And that's when I had my first encounter with burnout. You see a lot of content creators and YouTubers talking about burnout, but until you experience it, there's really no words to describe how awful burnout is. Burnout sucks because it basically causes you to hate and despise the things that you love which for me was making YouTube videos. For a lot of YouTubers, it's the type of content that they create. And it causes you to just hate and despise that type of content or making that type of video or just stressing the analytics. How many views did this video get? Okay, I gotta go make a new video. It, it's just a whole ecosystem inside of the YouTube burnout world. And because of that, the videos that I put out the rest of 2019 were very inconsistent. There, I would post, you know, multiple videos a week, and then I would take multiple weeks off, and then I would post multiple videos, and then take multiple months off. It was just, it was very, very inconsistent. So as the year came to a close, I decided that 2020 is going to be my year. I'm going to go extremely hard on YouTube. I'm going to be as consistent as possible. I'm going to make my videos next level and be as high quality as I possibly can. 2020 is gonna be a game changer. It's 2020 and welcome to my channel. And it was. Because the very first day of January, my car exploded. <laughs> luckily, no, when, when your car explodes, there is no luckily, it, it kinda sucks. But what happened next was way worse. Five days later, my uncle passed away from cancer. It was hard because we couldn't even grieve properly because at the beginning of 2020, that's when the pandemic started. That was when you couldn't hear anything on the news that wasn't related to COVID-19 or the coronavirus. The coronavirus. 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 With the media flooding in basically every single day updates on COVID, they started to do state lockdowns, which in turn caused the funeral to be pushed back. And then three months later, my grandma passes. She was a very strong woman. She had nine kids and took care of countless grandchildren. Even though she was the strongest woman I knew, in the end, Alzheimer's took its course and her health went downhill 
really quick in her final years and eventually took over her body until her body couldn't take it no more. Being around her in those final years was, it was very tough. You, uh, you can, you can never get used to seeing your loved ones suffer and even worse, not know who you are. And her death wasn't easy either. That was a very painful pill to swallow. A month later, we see our first COVID spike. And that basically caused the rest of the states to go into lockdown. Now, a buddy of mine at the time was already out of state. He was in Colorado uh, trying to snowboard and ski. And he was, he was really into that. And he wanted to make snowboard videos. And they kicked him off the mountain early because of COVID and, and going into lockdown. And when he was coming back, he hit me up asking if uh, I would be interested in selling my GoPro to him. Because that was the first camera I actually had on YouTube was a GoPro. And since it was only the GoPro 4, I had pretty much gotten all the use out of it that I was going to get out of it. I wasn't really using it much, so I agreed to sell it to him for, you know, pretty cheap. You know, he's a buddy of mine. I'm going to give him a good deal. And when I went over to his place, I didn't realize, but he was sick. And even though all I was doing was dropping off the camera, that's all it took. And I got sick. Really sick. At the time, very little was still known about COVID and the symptoms of COVID. And they did have the order in place where if you get, you know, if you if you are sick or if you think you have COVID or if you have COVID, self-isolate for two weeks, 14 days. And I did. I was sick for about three weeks. But even after the illness had passed, I still didn't feel right. Something was wrong. And it wasn't that I couldn't smell or taste. I, I never had those symptoms, but I did have trouble breathing and I did have fatigue. I didn't have like, you know, I didn't need oxygen tubes. For me, it was, it was in my, in my ribs and in my back. I had muscle inflammation so bad that it was constricting my chest, my ribs and my lungs, making it hard for me to breathe. This went on for months before I decided to go to the doctor to see if, if, if there is anything I can do, because at this point, it's just agony. It's June. I go to the doctor. I explain my issues, my symptoms, and they tell me, there, honestly, there's, there's not a lot we can do for you. Uh, what we can do is we'll give you a blood test to see if you're having any other issues that might be the cause. And we can also do an antigen test because at this time, they had finally come out with a test to show if you have antibodies of COVID to see if you've at least had COVID. And what scares me, even to this day, is that antigen body test came back negative. Apparently, I never had COVID, which makes me think maybe this is something way more serious. Two months go by and my grandfather passes. He had a lot of health problems over the years, mostly with his heart. Um, he had multiple heart attacks, and his heart just it gave out in the end for him. At this time, we get more news. Way back at the beginning of the year in January, when my uncle passed away from cancer, a lot of my aunt and uncles went to do a health checkup to make sure that they didn't have any problems either, you know, to make sure everything was okay. And a couple of them found some things, but they didn't want to reveal it because of all the stress from losing my uncle, my grandmother, and they didn't want to put that stress on my grandfather. So once my grandfather passed, my aunt reveals that she also has cancer along with my dad. That was the final nail in my coffin. I tried to continue making videos, but mentally and physically, I just couldn't keep up. And if you, if you look in the last videos of 2020 that I made, the consistency was not there. I would make a video and then be gone a week. Then I would make a video, then be gone three weeks. And I just, I just couldn't, couldn't keep it up. So I had to do what I never really wanted to do and quit. I had to focus on my health, not just my mental health from all the things that have been going on, but my physical health too. Because when I got sick back in April, I had never 
felt the same since. I still don't. I still, right now, don't feel normal. It, it just, nothing feels right. And I figure if I can get better, physically, mentally, both, preferably, that I could start uploading YouTube videos again and doing what I love. And then in April, the day after my birthday, my aunt passed away. I don't care who you are. Death never comes easy. It, it never does. It never will. It's, it's always going to be tough. All the bullshit that was happening over the last year, my, my health, family members around me not doing well either, it gave me depression. I had nothing but negative thoughts and self-doubt about just life in general. But when my aunt passed away, it hit me differently. It made me think, what are you doing with your life? I can't just sit around waiting for something to happen because nothing will, N nothing good anyways. I want to be in control of my life. And the only way to do that is by taking action. If you want better health, start eating healthier, start working out more. If you want more money, get a better job or learn the skills that will pay you more money. And if you want happiness, it depends on what you define as happiness. For most of us, it's just people. Finding somebody that you love that will spend the rest of their life with you. And for me, I still love making videos. I still love YouTube and I still want to create content on YouTube. But if I'm going to do this again, things have to be different. It took me a long time, but four months ago, I finally updated the first and only video of 2021. And it was just a simple desk review of my new setup. Yeah, it, it's just a simple video, but it allowed me to do creative things that I wouldn't normally do in my videos, getting different shots, different angles, just allowing me to be as creative and expressive as I wanted to. Even though it's not related to what this channel is about, the videos, the views didn't perform quite well, but I had so much fun with that video. And that's what I want YouTube to be about for me again. I want it to be about chasing the fun, chasing the, the ideas, being creative, having a good time doing it, not chasing views, not chasing money. Those are just a byproduct. And if you're focusing on views or focusing on money, it's just going to water down your actual content, your creativity, and it's going to cause you to burn out faster and hate, <laughs> hate what you do. Today is January 1st. 2022 and my goal create 50 high quality videos by the end of the year that is something that i can achieve and for those of you in the comment section wondering how i can make this promise when i haven't fulfilled mine in the past don't worry that little dicky video is coming out i will make sure it happens this year i even cut my hair off for it so when my hair starts to uh get a little bit longer it's going to get more curly i'll give you the little dicky vibes and we are going to have a parody on our hands my name is cody mcdell if you've made it this far i really do appreciate it if you would smash that like button if you haven't hit this button go ahead and hit it right now and we're going to make 2022 what 2020 should have been and we're going to do it right this time Everything that we do exclusive Make sure that it's all inclusive I was taught make no excuses As a man you can't be useless Man up cause these people ruthless